In UK waters alone, there are nearly 500 oil and gas structures in the sea that are approaching the end of their lives. To protect the marine environment, decommissioning operations need to be supported by an environmental assessment and subsequent monitoring. The pioneering NOC-led At Sea project pushed the boundaries of underwater robot exploration, taking Boaty to challenging environments to revolutionise the way these marine surveys are carried out. Through two missions, the team proved the concept of using ocean robots like Autosub Long Range, also known as Boaty McBoatface, for high-tech, low-impact environmental monitoring. Through two missions, the team proved the concept of using ocean robots like Autosub Long Range or Boaty McBoatface for high-tech, low-impact environmental monitoring. The team arrived at the historic port town of Lerwick in the Shetland Islands and began mission preparations by charging and testing ALR in the Port Authority's Operations Centre. Once fully charged and checked over, the team moved on to outdoor end-to-end -end testing, which checked satellite communications between the ALR and the C2 command and control servers at NOC in Southampton. On the morning of the launch, ALR was carried by telehandler to the dock edge and gently lowered into the water. The RIB, Ada Ruby 2, towed ALR about 10 kilometres out of the confined waters to the deployment location, where it was released and completed a series of calibration checks ahead of the mission launch. Boaty was deployed at, to carry out environmental assessments at two decommissioning sites in the North Sea. The robot also visited a special marine protected area that is known to have natural leaks of gas to check the sensors could reliably detect a leak. Travelling at half a metre per second, it took several days to efficiently commute to the work areas. Boaty travelled over a thousand kilometres during 21 days, using vastly less energy to reach the survey sites compared to current survey methods. Powered by rechargeable batteries, it used the equivalent energy of just over two litres of diesel, making its fuel economy equivalent to around 1,120 miles per gallon. It explored several oil and gas structures, capturing high quality images of the seafloor with Biocam, a unique and low power 3D visual mapping system developed by the University of Southampton. ALR also successfully gathered key data on water temperature, salinity, pollutants and currents. On return to shore, the project team examined the data obtained by the ALR and compared it to that gathered using a standard survey ship method. We've demonstrated how NOx leading robotic technology could be used worldwide to support crucial ocean monitoring. The drastic reduction in carbon emissions by using this state-of-the-art approach over traditional methods will help the industry move towards net zero.